Friends were gathered together in the sight of God to witness and bless the joining together of Jeff and Malia. The covenant of marriage was established by God who created us male and female for each other. With his presence and power, Jesus graced a wedding at Cana of Galilee and in his sacrificial love gave us the example for love of husband and wife. Jeff and Malia come today to give themselves to one another in this holy covenant. Jeff and Malia. I ask you now in the presence of God and these people to declare your intention to enter into union with each other through the grace of Jesus Christ, who calls you into union with himself as acknowledged in your baptism. Malia, will you have Jeff to be your husband, to live together in holy marriage? Will you love him, comfort him, honor and keep him in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others be faithful to him as long as you both shall live? And Jeff, will you have Malia to be your wife, to live together in holy marriage? Will you love her, comfort her, honor and keep her in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, be faithful to her as long as you both shall live? I will. And who presents this woman to be married to this man? Her mother and I. Let us pray. Almighty God, we are so grateful to be here tonight to witness together the, the joining of these two lives. We are grateful for the opportunity to witness their love for one another and for their desire to enter into this covenant with each other. We pray tonight that your Holy Spirit would be in this place, that your spirit might be on Jeff and Malia as they begin their life together, and that you might bless their marriage. It's in your name that we pray. Amen. Over the past several months, I've had the pleasure of getting to, to meet with Jeff and Malia and prepare, preparing for this day, but more importantly, preparing for all of the many years that are to come. During this time, I asked them a lot of different questions, and, and I asked them to do certain things along the way. And one of the things that I asked them was to pick out scripture verses, verses that they thought best represented what love and marriage are all about. They came back, and they met with me, and they had three verses picked out, and they asked if we could read these tonight as part of this ceremony. And the first is from Ecclesiastes. It says that two are better than one because they have a good reward for their toil. For if they fall, one will lift up the other. But woe to one who is alone and falls and does not have another to help. Again, if two lie together, they keep warm. But how can one keep warm alone? And though one might prevail against another, two will withstand one. But a threefold cord is not quickly broken. And then from Matthew chapter 19, some Pharisees came to him and to test him they asked, Is it lawful for a man to divorce his wife for any cause? He answered, Have you not read that the one who made them at the beginning made them male and female and said, For this reason a man shall leave his father and mother and be joined to his wife, and the two shall become one flesh. So they are no longer two, but one flesh. Therefore what God has joined together let no one separate. And finally, I think their favorite verse is from 1 Corinthians chapter 13. Love is patient. Love is kind. Love is not envious or boastful or arrogant or rude. It does not insist on its own way. It is not irritable or resentful. It does not rejoice in wrongdoing, but rejoices in the truth. It bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Love never ends. But as for prophecies, they will come to an end. And as for tongues, they will cease. As for knowledge, it will come to an end. Jeff and Malia, I want us to pause for just a moment here. Take a deep breath. Soak in every moment of this. Enjoy everything that happens here this evening. You know, it's taken a lot to get to this point. It's taken a lot on your part, a lot of planning and preparation to get us here. But it's taken a lot of work on the part of so many others who love you all so very much. I want you to take a minute to look around at all of these people here. These people who love you, who are here to support you, 
and witness this special moment in your lives. We didn't get to this point by accident. It's by the grace of God and the love of every person here and so many others who wish they could have been here tonight that you all are standing in this moment, preparing to unite your lives. You know, leading up to and after weddings, I'm sure you all have already gotten into this, but you write a lot of thank you notes. <laughs> There's a lot of people to thank with weddings. But one of the greatest pieces of advice I could ever give you is to never let that habit fall away. Even when the gifts are done and you've written the last of the wedding thank you notes, never stop expressing your gratitude. Continue to think about the things and the people that you are grateful for and take time to let them know. When we do this, it helps us turn our attention and our focus and our perspective from ourselves to those that are around us. It helps us see beyond ourselves. It changes our perspective on life. We're reminded that our primary focus, our primary gratitude is to God. For God's grace and for God's blessings, for so many things that we experience. But then it also reminds us to be grateful for the others who are part of our lives, who show us God's love every day. It's because we know that love that you all are able to come together to love one another. But even as we look back with gratitude at all of the people and all of the things that have brought us to this point, I also can't help but look forward to your all's future and be excited about the many years, the many memories that are waiting to be made, the many times that we have to share. What we are doing today is gonna to have ripple effects for generations to come. This moment, this night, is gonna change the world because your great, great, great grandkids are gonna look back and remember you guys and know that you have made a difference in this world because of the commitment that you are making here this evening. In just a moment, you two are gonna take your vows. And in your marriage, you can either choose to fulfill the basic requirements of those vows, or you can choose to go the extra mile. In your marriage, always go the extra mile. Don't just love one another, romance one another. Surprise each other in ways that you know will keep the butterflies alive for years to come. Jeff, I think one of the first times that you talked to Malia, you asked her if her thunder was up. Never lose sight of those times. <laughs> Remember those opportunities to keep those butterflies alive. Remind each other of the reasons that you love one another and how you guys like to have fun with each other. Don't just unite your families through your wedding vows, but unite your families through the way that you live every day. Jeff, I know that you love Malia's family, her sisters. They're like your own family and your own sisters. Malia, I know that you love Jeff's family, his nieces and nephews and cousins and everybody that's a part of that. And every day you all have an opportunity to not just unite each other through the vows that you take here tonight, but through the way that you continue to live that out in loving one another's families, because now you guys are one. And finally, don't just allow one another the freedom to follow your dreams, but be each other's biggest cheerleaders in pursuing those dreams. When Malia gets an opportunity to change jobs, don't just support her because it's gonna move her into your office building but be her biggest cheerleader because it's what her dreams are about. It's when we begin to go the extra mile for one another out of a sense of gratitude, out of a sense of selfless love for one another, that your marriage will be blessed. Let us pray. Oh God, we are so very grateful to be here. We pray for Jeff and Malia as they come preparing to take their vows that they might remember with a grateful heart the blessings that you have bestowed upon them, the love that you have shown them in their lives, so that they might know how to love one another. We pray that each day that you would help them draw closer to you and closer to each other. And we ask this in the name of your son, Jesus. Amen. Jeff, I'm going to ask you to repeat after me. I, Jeff, take you, Malia, I, Jeff, take you, Malia. To, be to be my wife, to have and to hold, from this day forward, for better, for worse, for richer, for poor, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish until we are parted by death. I will serve you with tenderness and respect and encourage you to develop God's gifts in you. This is my solemn vow. Malia, would you repeat after me? I, Malia, take you, Jeff to be my husband, to have and to hold from this day forward 
for better, for worse, for richer, for poor, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish until we are parted by death. I will serve you with tenderness and respect and encourage you to develop God's gifts in you. This is my solemn vow. Can I have the rings? These rings are the outward and visible sign of an inward and spiritual grace, signifying to all the uniting of Jeff and Malia in holy marriage. Let us pray. Oh God, we ask for your blessing upon these rings. As Jeff and Malia prepare to put on these rings, may they look at them every single day and be reminded of their love for one another, of the commitment that they have made here, and of the vows that they have just taken to love and cherish each other. We ask this in your most holy name. Amen. Jeff, I'm going to ask you to take Malia's ring, place it on her ring finger, and repeat after me. Malia, I give you this ring as a sign of my vow. And with all that I am and all that I have, I honor you. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Malia, would you take Jeff's ring and place it on his ring finger and repeat after me. Jeff, I give you this ring as a sign of my vow. And with all that I am and all that I have, I honor you. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Jeff and Malia, you've declared your consent and vows before God and before these people. May God confirm your covenant and fill you both with grace. Would you turn and face these friends and family who are here. Now that Jeff and Malia have given themselves to each other by solemn vows, with the joining of hands and the giving and receiving of rings, I announce to you that they are husband and wife. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, those whom God has joined together, let no one put asunder. Amen. Jeff, you may kiss your bride.